Good morning, and you know what time it is. It's time for the morning roast. I'm Ken Arnold. I'm your host for the roast. Welcome. You know, it's it's Monday. It's the start of a new week. I know it doesn't feel like it. You know, I'm sorry that it doesn't feel like it, but uh, you know, we're still uh, we're still in the middle of it, and we're still trying to get through. So, thank you for coming on. I appreciate it. I've got five people watching already. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna go over here just to make sure that we are playing correctly. And we are. Look at that. Very nice. All right. Cool. Very cool. Very cool. Hey, guys. Cheers. Thanks for joining me. Check out this coffee mug this morning. Look at that right there. Oh, there it is. Wait a minute. There he is. I'm not saying it was aliens, but uh, it was aliens. That's Giorgio Sukalos from uh, the show Ancient Aliens. Yeah, I got a coffee mug. I bought it online. That's right. I buy way too much stuff online, but oh man, coffee's good. Coffee is good. I'm going to get back to Giorgio in a little bit down the line, but uh, yeah, thank you guys for joining me today. Let's see who's on. All right, my sister's on. Hey, Betty, how you doing? Natalie. Hey, Natalie. We are going to talk about National Dirty Dishes Day. Yep, no Dirty Dishes Day. That's right, we are. We're going to get to that. Donald M., ready for the roast. CJ, thanks for joining me. And yes, Giorgio Sukalos has some crazy nice hair. Poof, I wish I had hair like that. I wish I had hair. Period. Right? I ain't got no hair. Sad. It's a sad day for Ken. No hair. Mm. But I could always wear a wig. I can get a wig and, uh, you know, put it on. So, uh, oh, speaking of, hold on. How's this, Natalie? How's that? Is that better? All right. Now we're in. All right. Yep. It's Monday morning and we've started off with a bang. This is what I would look like if I had beetle hair. Yeah, I don't like it either. All right. We're going to lose that. <laughs> All right. So I see DeLuca's on. Hey, DeLuca. What's up? What are you doing? Kevin Stokes. Thanks for joining me. Maria Triandos. Hey, how are you, hon? How's work going? All right. Thanks for joining me. So yeah, we've got a lot of stuff. I got my Philly shirt on today. If anybody has any questions, I grew up outside of Philadelphia. That's why I'm a Philly fan. That's why I like the Eagles, the Flyers, the Sixers, the Philly, all of it. All of it. And every once in a while, you will hear, well, probably all the time, you'll hear my Philly accent. So, sorry. I apologize. So today is national what, guys? What is today? Today is national. Let me go over here. I have accompanying uh, pictures here. It's cheese souffle day. That's right. Look at that right there. Cheese souffle. Ugh. I'm not so sure I'd eat that. I mean, it looks okay, but I'm not a cheese souffle guy. Anybody out there like cheese souffle? Because cause I don't like cheese souffle. No. Mm -mm. Not at all. Not at all. Oh, yeah. Hey, monkey. What, Natalie? Speaking of, let's get into the next one. No National No Dirty Dishes Day, right? I mean, how crazy is that? It's National No Dirty Dishes Day. You know, and in my house, it's always, every day, National Lots of Dirty Dishes Day. Uh, I wish that uh, it was National No Dirty Dishes Day. And as a matter of fact, before I came down here, I was looking at my sink, saying to myself, I got to wash dishes. Oh, man. But I wish that I had this fella right here. Check this guy out. Pete the Monkey washing dishes. There he is. Look at him go. Look at him go. I mean, he's multitasking. Look, he's washing a dish. He's washing a dish. Right? And he's got a monkey on his back. Look at that. Carrying the monkey on his back, washing dishes. Pete the monkey. There he goes. I wish, I wish I had a friend like Pete the monkey. Right? I wish my kids, my kids would Good boy, Pete. see Pete the monkey and wash some dishes. That would be nice. That would be really nice if my kids would pick up some slack around here and be like Pizza Monkey. Yes. Oh, look at him go. Oh, he's fantastic. Look, he even gets the backside. He even scrubs the backside of the dish. This monkey's no joke. And, oh, is he done with that one? Yep, I'm done. Oh, no, nope, got a little bit more to do. Got to get this. Pete the Monkey washing dishes. If only. Yeah, my sister says no dirty dishes for her. Right? The glory of living alone. <laughs> that is pretty good, Betty. And my sister says she's going to whoop up a souffle right now. That's right. 
And then Donald, babysitting. And yes, Natalie, monkey washing dishes is a tremendous sight. I wish I had a monkey washing dishes. Oh, and the last one today, the last national day it is, right? Because they have a list and, you know, I pick out my top three. Today is National Visit Your Relatives Day. Okay, now I got a couple problems with that. Number one, who scheduled National Visit Your Relatives Day? You know, and they probably scheduled it ahead of time, right? So they didn't know we we're going to be in the middle of a pandemic. But who scheduled it for a Monday? Visit your relatives on a Monday? Yeah, we work. What? You couldn't do this on a Friday, Saturday, even a Sunday on a weekend, right? Visit your relatives day should never be scheduled on a Monday. Whoever comes up with these national days, bad scheduling. That's terrible. That person needs to be fired. You need a new scheduler. Just saying. I'm just saying. All right. Oh, speaking of, did you guys, we're going back to Giorgio here. Giorgio Sucolos from my cup. There he is. I'm not saying it was aliens. But it was aliens. Let's go back to Giorgio. He posted this picture the other day. I want to show this to you guys. Um, there it is, right there. The national candle is out. Uh, yeah, the uh, official commemorative candle for the year 2020. It's a dumpster. Yep, a dumpster fire. That's right. I laughed out loud when I saw that. <laughs> because, yes, we are living in a dumpster fire right now. Wow. Wow. I mean, if it's not one thing, it's another. If it's not, uh, you know, coronavirus, it's murder hornets. If it's not murder hornets, you know, then it's, uh, oh, I've, I've got something else for that. So, uh, Donald M. Yes, Donald, it is too funny. And then, unless you're a nurse and Monday is your day off. Well, that's a good, you know, you got day off, Betty. But most people, they're off on the weekend. So, uh, yeah, visit a relative day. But you can't visit a relative because you're not supposed to. We're still supposed to be social distancing. So back off. Yep. Don't come down here and visit today because, yeah. The XXL was a dumpster fire. I don't know what that is. The XFL, you mean, uh, Kevin? Is that what you're talking about? Talking about football? Because, yeah, that was pretty bad. Well, it's it was it started off strong, but then, of course, you know, we, we fell into the pandemic here, and uh, they kind of got the shaft. Uh, because they couldn't hold their games anymore. So, yeah, uh, kind of, yeah, a dumpster fire. Mm-hmm, exactly right. Exactly right. You need to get a profile pic, Kev. Yeah. How many people are watching? We got eight people watching. All right. Thanks for joining me, you eight people. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. I don't know if those emojis pop up, Dan DeLuca, so I don't know if I can share that. Oh, yeah, it did. Look at that. Woo! All right. Little alien head. I love aliens. They're awesome. And then today, my sister says she's going fishing. That's a good social distancing thing. Until they arrest you and throw you in jail for it. <laughs> uh, so, did anybody yesterday watch NASCAR? Yeah, me neither. Mm -mm. Yeah, I uh, I had better things to do. Even in a pandemic, I won't watch NASCAR. Mm -mm. Won't do it. Apparently, Kevin Harvick won, so good for Kevin Harvick. Congratulations, sir, on winning the NASCAR race yesterday. Uh, all right, who did their homework yesterday? Remember our homework? What was our homework? Yep, we were supposed to watch a movie called The Other Missy. All right, let's see. The Wrong Missy. I'm sorry, The Wrong Missy. I called The Other Missy. The Wrong Missy on Netflix. Did anybody watch that movie? Because, uh, yeah, I watched it. And I thought it was hilarious. I really did. You know, it's probably some of the best work that David Spade has done in a long time. Uh, it was funny. Uh, it, it was crazy funny. Like, you know, it's not, it's not clever humor. It's just, you know, it, it, it's, uh, there was a lot of, um, of, of visual humor in it and uh, some just off-the-wall crazy stuff in it that... You know, you would you would expect from uh, a Happy Madison, uh, Adam Sandler production, and you had David Spade in it, who actually went back to the look that he had for like Tommy Boy uh, and Black Sheep, so that was kind of nice. I'm not going to give you a, give away too much, but I will say I give it um, out of four stars. I'll give it three stars as far as the comedy goes. Don't go into it looking it looking for it to be. Um, 
you know, uh, an Eddie Murphy uh, 48 Hours or something like that. No, it's not like that. But it is pretty funny. It is a good thing. Man, I'm showing my age. I went all the way back to 48 Hours with Eddie Murphy. Jesus, Jesus. Whew. Hey, Renee Miranda. Thanks for joining me, man. Good morning. Guten, guten Morgen. Herr Miranda. Yes, that's right. We've been watching Disjointed. What is that, Disjointed? I don't even know. Mm, I don't even know. Uh, my sister loved the wrong Missy. Yeah, the wrong Missy. Let me get that out of here. We don't need to see that anymore. Boom, it's gone. And Donald said his dog ate his homework. Ah, Donald, you know. I don't know what to do with you, Donald. Let's go back over here. See Pete the monkey washing dishes again. You know, your dog ate the homework. Come on now, Donald. Mm? 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 Come on. Mm? Your dog ate your homework. Mm? You need to... That's not an excuse. <laughs> it's not an excuse. Uh, oh, that's a, that's an older... Um, that's an older show, Natalie. Kathy Bates, The Disjointed One. I never really got into that. I mean, I watched a couple of the episodes, but never really got into it. Maybe I'll I'll revisit that. Yeah, I'll revisit that. So, uh, yeah, we'll get back to it. So, uh, we've gone over the dumpster candle, the national candle, the NASCAR, the wrong Missy. Have you seen this, guys? Right? I'm going to go to share my screen with you guys so you can check this out. All right? I'm going to bring this up. I'm going to share my screen over here. There it is. Forget murder hornets. Giant gypsy moths could bring serious widespread damage to the U.S. What? What? But, I mean, if it's not one thing, it's another, right? You got the murder hornets, now you got the giant gypsy moths. I don't, I don't know what we're supposed to do. I really don't know. What, we can't get away from it, all right? But here's the thing, right? Look at the story highlights. Check it out. Gypsy moths are exotic pests that can do widespread damage. Okay, that's scary. All right, large infestations can completely defoliate trees. Ooh, that's scary. But then, look at this. We've had gypsy moths here in the eastern United States since the 1860s. And we're still rolling. So they go, scary, scary, and okay, we've dealt with this before. And we've been dealing with it since the mid-1800s. And we're still doing all right. Yeah, gypsy moths. Come on, now. Now you're just trying to scare us. All I want to know is how much toilet paper do I need to buy to battle the gypsy moths? That's it. That's all. Yeah. I know, Betty. Exactly. Yep, Renee. Mothra, right? You got to be kidding. You got to be kidding. Check this out, Renee. Right? How about this? I have actual footage. Actual footage of the gypsy moths in Seattle that they're talking about. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here we go. There it is. There it is right there. See that? That's the gypsy moth. And it brought its caterpillars with it. Look at it. And look at that. Fortunately for us, we have Godzilla. That's right. We've got Godzilla, right? I mean, he's protecting Japan right here. But, you know, they'll come over to Seattle. He's not afraid, right? And then look what they're doing. They're bombing. Who's bombing Godzilla? Why would you bomb Godzilla? He's trying to get rid of the gypsy moths. Look. And then they throw a net on him. Oh. <sighs> Who remembers watching those Godzilla movies on a Saturday? I do. Two thumbs. This guy. Boom. I love those Godzilla movies. They were awesome. And Mothra? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, Natalie says she, they're all going as a <laughs> bike of hornets for Halloween this year. That's pretty good. That's pretty nice. A bike of hornets? A bike of hornets? All right. I know what you mean, though. You're going out as hornets on Halloween this year. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. There you go, Renee. I know you like the Godzilla stuff, right? Yeah. Mothra. Mm-hmm. That was good stuff. I love Godzilla movies back in the day. Spend a Saturday afternoon if it was raining. Just watch all the Godzilla movies. Mothra, uh, 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 Hydra, and uh, all the other ones. Uh, um, what was the robotic Godzilla's name? What was, what was his name? And um, uh, Godzuki. Remember Godzuki, the little baby one? <laughs> I used to love that. I loved it. I loved it. Who doesn't love Godzilla, Dan DeLuca? Who doesn't, right? Boom, Natalie Green. Yep, loving Godzilla. Can't wait. You know, they did that uh, modern Godzilla movie. It was all right. You know, it had it had some cool stuff in it. Mothra was in it and uh, some other cool things. So if you haven't seen it yet, check it out, right? 
Ah, look at that. Learn something new every day. A collective noun for murder hornets is a bike or a nest. Wow. Showing your uh, your intellectual abilities there, Natalie, aren't you? Yeah. Mecha Godzilla. There he is. Dan DeLuca would know it. Mecha Godzilla. Yes. Boom. Uh, you know, I don't know. I thought I thought it was entertaining. You know, it was kind of a, a weird storyline, but uh, the monsters, the CGI, I like the CGI. Kind of cool. Yeah. Kind of cool. What are some of the other Godzilla monsters that are out there? You guys remember any of those? Throw them out there. Yep. Hey, did you guys see this? This right here. Uh, I'm going to classify it as monkey abuse. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Check out this, right? I had a snake on my show yesterday. Showed you that snake that was in my front yard. Check out this, right? This guy. Here he is. He's luring monkeys in with a banana and a purse, right? Watch what happens to this monkey. It walks hey, up, boom, hey, think it's gonna hey, get a banana. Hey. There's a banana, boom, whoa! Hey, hey, the guy had a snake, a rubber snake, tied to the banana. Look at the monkey, whoa, whoa, whoa! What was that? What was that? That's monkey abuse. You just traumatized that poor little monkey. Why would you do that? Why would you traumatize a poor monkey like that? Huh, man, people are just bullies, man. God. Bullying that monkey. Look, let's watch it one more time. Here comes the monkey. Comes up to the bag. Boom. There he goes. He's on the bag. Right? He's about ready to grab the monkey. He's got it. Boom. And right there. See it? Woo! Whoa! And then there he goes. Hey, hey, woo! Woo! Hey. Woo! And the guy's laughing the whole time. The whole time. Whew, if I ever met that guy. Don't bully monkeys, man. It's not funny. Not funny. Just saying. Hmm. Yep. Yes, King Ghidorah. Ghidorah. I think it's how you say it. Ghidorah. The smog monster. What's that? Yeah. Now, you and Donald should hunt that guy down, right? A monkey bully. Don't bully the monkeys. Nah, it ain't funny, man. It's not funny. Rodan. Yes, Renee. Rodan from the uh, Godzilla franchise. Remember the, the little tiny ladies that used to sing to Godzilla? They would sit on top of the like the worm. Yeah. Those little tiny, they were funny. <laughs> they were pretty good looking though. I gotta say. I gotta say, pretty good looking. You know, the only problem with this mug, guys, right? The, I'm not saying it was Aliens mug. It's really tiny, man. Like the mug I had yesterday, the Sopranos mug was like a vat of coffee. It was like this big. Boom. It's like that. Uh, we got two minutes left. What else do I have? All right. Have you guys seen this? Let's go here. We're going to look at this video right here. You know, people are doing press conferences all across the country right now. And uh, this is one that was done in Nassau County up in New York. Ready? Here it comes. Boom. And there she is. She's talking about tennis balls. Right? So that you don't touch other people's And uh, she can't contain herself because, uh, you know. You can kick their balls. You, you can kick them in the balls. <laughs> and then she realizes what she said. Um, She's like, whoops. <laughs> Oh, that's hysterical. Hey, look at the two guys standing next to her. They got their masks on, you know. They're protecting They're protecting the tennis courts. I love it. Protecting the tennis courts and kicking of the balls. Look, and she knows, and she's like, yeah, you can mark their balls with an X and a Sharpie. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> Ridiculous. All right, moving on. We got a minute left. What else do we have to get to? Oh, man. We had the uh, kicking of the balls. We got the snake and the monkey. The giant gypsy moths. I mean, holy moly. Yeah. Godzilla versus the smog monster. It's a thing. Look it up. All right. Yeah. All right. Donald, you better. I want that guy taken care of, the monkey bully. I mean, let's go. You got to get him. You got to get him. And yes, Renee, you were right. The little tiny ladies, they sang to Mothra. Mm-hmm. I like it. And it is. It's easier to drink the vodka straight from the bottle, Dan Berkman. You are absolutely right. Hold on. Where is it? Oh, it's not down here. The vodka's not down here, Dan Berkman. I took it upstairs. Uh, they are laughing at her behind their masks, Donald. The woman with kicking in the bowls. You're right. Ooh. All right, let's see. Oh, we're almost out of time, ladies and gentlemen, but I got one more thing, 
And uh, uh, I got to mention this because this guy was one of my favorite actors and uh, favorite comedians. And I'm going to bring this up right here. But uh, this past weekend, Fred Willard, um, one of my favorites, he passed away this weekend. Uh, he was 86 years old. I didn't even realize he was that old. Uh, but he was 86 years old. He was in such movies, my favorites, as uh, Spinal Tap, Waiting for Guffman, Best in Show. He was also in Ron Burgundy. I mean, classic TV shows as well. Uh, his career started back in the 70s and, and through the 80s. And uh, he got stronger in the 90s with his career. And just such great projects. R.I.P. Fred Willard. We love you, man. We love you. Thank you for your work, sir. Peace. Yeah, he was funny. He was funny. Timmy. Yep. Timmy! Ah, the Christopher Guest Gang. Yep, the Christopher Guest Gang is pretty amazing. Waiting for Guffman is probably one of my favorites. Spinal Tap, of course. Uh, Best in Show, hilarious. And the, the other ones that they have done throughout the years, they do great stuff. And Fred Willard was always a part of it. What I do is when I go to auditions now, if they have like a chair or something sitting in the room... I uh, I walk up to it and I go, you do you want me to strike this? Cause I I can I know how to do that. I'm I'm an actor, <laughs> and that was a classic Fred Willard from uh, Waiting for Guffman when he was auditioning for the play in that. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Um, it's Monday, so enjoy your day. Enjoy your coffee. Make it a great one. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. This is show number, what is it, 15, Donald? Yeah, it's number 15, 15 days in a row. I've got five more days in my 20-day stint that I said I was going to do. And, uh, you know, I'm going to finish strong. So, I will see you guys later. Peace.